hi welcome back thank you for coming to my channel and i hope you all like the video let's get to it um okay so i want to do a all the books i've read this month but literally like i didn't even read that much <laughs> so i actually okay i'm gonna start off with i read verity um but i don't have it right now so that's gonna be the first one i'll just put like a little picture right here um i don't know what i rated it i think i rated it like a 4.5 but i can't really do that on goodreads i rated a four a 4.5 just because it was amazing there was one thing that i literally like couldn't stop asking you know and the answer was never fulfilled maybe it was but i like don't i don't remember it and i remember being so upset because okay verity's office was soundproof and i don't remember her name i forgot what the main character's name is and i check but i don't have the book so the main character she ke oh lowen she kept saying like kept bringing up that verity's office was soundproof and she's like why is it soundproof why is it soundproof and i mean you could use your imagination and try to figure it out but there were so many questions that were answered that didn't leave you to your imagination you know and so i'd expect for that question to be answered and it never was so next here are my two dnfs of this month um and i'm not super proud about that dnfing this book be not far from me um just because my mom told me that it was supposed to be super good and all of her students recommended it and i know that you're supposed to wait until like 50 pages for the book to get good um i just couldn't because this book is so short it's like 220 or 230 pages it's like so short yeah 231 pages extremely short i could have pulled through but i didn't want to put myself into a book slump and so i stopped reading it um and i also dnf'd 1984 i don't have the book on me right now um and that book it is such a good book like i totally recommend the book it was just so difficult for me to read because it's not really my age level you know it's like a really 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 complex book and i gave it a shot i got to like page 85 or so and it's amazing but i just couldn't like i was be i was putting myself into a book swamp because it was so difficult for me to read i had to stop next um i also so i guess there's three dns i also dnf to love is a mixtape and i've said this so many times um there's nothing wrong with the book the book is amazing and i loved it I just didn't understand it and it's mainly my fault um, because no I mean it for sure is my fault because I don't know any of the music in this book I don't know what he's talking about and as you can see I even started annotating but like I didn't want to look up what every single book or what every single song sounds like the only song that I knew was like Hey Jude and stuff you know and like it's a really good book I just DNF'd it for obvious reasons next oh my god i loved this book this is when i started writing i think um uh, my dates when i started reading the book yeah okay i start okay so it actually took me nine days to finish because annotating makes me take a lot longer to read um but it's such a good book don't take that from me just because it took me so long to finish doesn't mean it's bad I love the format of it. It's childhood lover friends um, to lovers. And so I don't want to like spoil it for anybody, but it's pretty obvious. There's just a lot of misunderstanding. And normally that would get on my nerves because it's like really, like really. But this, it made a lot of sense. It made a lot of sense with the book, um, the reason why they weren't together or like why she like ditched Elliot. I have two favorite quotes. Page 257, drama always settles with the dullest outcome possible. Hard was like, okay, so yeah, Hard didn't cover it. Hard was like describing a mountain as a lump, like describing the ocean as a puddle. This is, um, oh, page 51. 
this is Macy explaining losing her mom. Um, and I've never lost a parent or anything, so I like definitely don't have any place. Um, but I think it's really, really interesting because it it's everybody's like, I'm sorry for your loss, but that doesn't cut it, you know, for losing a parent. Like I can't imagine. Like, wow. Next, I literally finished this book yesterday, Addicted to You. I started it um, November 31st, finished it yesterday, which was April 2nd. So it's technically an April read, but an April's read, but we're gonna say it's March because I wanna add more books to my March read. This is the month that I started getting really into books. So that's why this is kind of a short list. Next. Last but not least, I've mentioned this in so many of my videos, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. My friend and I both annotated it, so it has a lot of annotating in it. Um, but oh my goodness, look, she cracked the spine so much. Chloe, I'm coming for you. I don't care, really. But this is such a good book. One thing that got on my nerves, and it's literally not even a big deal, it, could probably it's literally probably just me is the text is like it's like formatted so weird on the page and then sometimes it would be formatted fine like I can't find it but like sometimes it would be fine like it'd fill the whole page and then sometimes it's like super small and I don't know why maybe it's because I got like a really big book but I feel like this is you know it's a pretty normal size compared it's even a little smaller it's not even a big deal like i don't even know why i brought that up because i really don't care that much and this is like how it's supposed to be anyway i have a lot of taylor jenkins reads take taylor's taylor jenkins read on my tbr and i'm looking really for i'm really looking crap dude i'm really looking forward to reading her books um, this summer. I was thinking about doing a what I plan to read an April TBR video but I don't do that like I kind of just like pick up a book that I'm looking forward to it's more, I'm more of a mood reader um so and I don't want to like force myself to read anything because that's going to put me into a book slump too. I did with 1984 and even though I loved it I kept telling myself to go and go and go because it's like everybody loves this book and it's so prominent in society and it's uh anyway this it sounds deep it's literally not even deep I want to come say yes it is who am I kidding it is a deep book it's in every aspect of society it's everywhere we see it's I okay it's literally big brother it's fr like the show is from this book there's so many references. I can't really tell you the references because um, I didn't read the whole book, but it's really, really interesting to compare the book to, I don't know, like North Korea or something because it's, it's so, it's uncanny how similar they are. It, it's insane. It's, wow, I like, I can't because there's such, okay, in the book, there are proles and proles are like the enemy and this is who they're fighting against and the proles are like americans i guess and um they're just they still suffer they suffer like they like big brother or like the plan is um because they're a capitalist society too or not too because the plan or big brother their whole thing is communism um, and they're suffering because I like you just have to read the book like I can't give it justice but there's also the proles who are free but they're also suffering under the capitalist idea or ideology or whatever and um, while it's not nearly as bad as um, Big Brother because there's like they're watching their every move they lie they just blatantly lie their whole the the country is built on gaslighting there's such thing as vanishing people where they just like destroy them like just make them poof off the face of this earth like they weren't even there they delete all the all the documents that they were even alive and they do that with everything like big brother they just come up with 
random things like next week our sock sales are going to go up 10 percent and then they actually go up 15 percent and so the government if you will i forgot what like the little ministry is what the little ministry is called that actually does it but so like a ministry goes back into the newspaper and deletes where it says 10 percent and makes it 15 percent and then they like give that all back to all those citizens or whatever um which is it's just it's it's like i can't even explain it and i only got 80 pages in like you can only imagine how much goes on and i, I like i barely even dip my toe to the water is that the right analogy i don't even know anyway back to the video anyway enough of that um sorry this is such a short video but um thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video adios Bye, everybody.